Meanwhile, not creating jobs, maybe because we're not listening to the job creators. With us now, one of the creators, Cypress Semiconductor CEO T.J. Rogers. T.J., what do you make of what's happening on the jobs front? You're, you're seeing it in your neck of the woods. What's happening? Oh, it's easy. Um, we're a microcosm of that. Uh, I shut down hiring again two weeks ago. We were starting to cautiously go back and, and hire a few people, and uh, I shut her down. Uh, I, I can't afford to take on a bunch of people that I, 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 I'm not willing to keep on for a couple of years. It's unfair to bring people on and lay them off. What, what gave you pause? Uh, it, it just what you've been talking about as I've been listening for the last few minutes. You know, the semiconductor market looks reasonable right now, but I sell stuff that goes into cell phones and digital cameras and computers, and I know very well if, if we have a recession, those markets are going to dry up, and in turn, the semiconductors that go into them are going to go down, and, and I'm just very uncertain about the economy right now. So I, I want to keep the company healthy, uh, and therefore I'm not willing to take a risk in this environment. Can Washington do anything to get, get you to open your wallet? No, no. You, okay, I keep hearing that, and, and I don't mean to, you know, shoot the messenger, but that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. You know, think about the premise behind that. Well, if we ran a company, we lost a trillion dollars last year, we've made horrible investments, we've caused huge unemployment, and now what we want you to do is take the money you've earned for your shareholders by investing your shareholders' money properly, frugally, and prudently. We want you to take the money that, that you've saved for your shareholders and do what we tell you, because after all, our track record is so good. Why would anybody do that? As a matter of fact, what we're doing right now is, is we've got a pile of money, we're returning it to our our shareholders. We just announced a dividend. We're going to give the money back to our shareholders and let them do what they want with it. They know a lot better than, than we do and Washington does what their money should be doing. If they want to invest it back in the company, they can always do that. I guess to uh, sort of save myself from that prior dumb question, TJ, I guess I was getting at if, if the argument is among many of your business colleagues that Washington regulates too much, dictates too much, uh, hikes taxes too much. Uh, should all of that be reversed? In other words, do you think it's time for substantial tax cuts, for example, something Reagan-esque that in this slowdown environment might be warranted or, or a combination of any of the above? Okay. Um, first of all, uh, take a look at a company and use a company, a big company like General Motors as an analogy for, for Washington. General Motors didn't invest well. Okay, and they, they ran the company down over years, and then they, they went on, almost went, they did go bankrupt, and they, they had to be saved. Okay, so the point is this in, in the real world, in the real economy, if an individual overcharges on his or a Visa card or for a company, wastes its R&D money and doesn't invest properly, the consequences are something bad happens. And, and in, in the government today, what they don't realize is they're investing poorly. How possibly can something that's debated in Congress, how much is going to go to North Carolina, how much is going to go to Minnesota, be a good investment that, that, that's sharp and right? So they're investing poorly. And in any organization that invests poorly over a long period of time, just like General Motors, is going to go downhill. Now, I asked the question, and that, that includes the government, we need to stop investing poorly not these stimulus programs. You know, I bet the Obama administration would come in and they're, if they were using 98% of the money in the economy, would say, we only need another 1% of the economy in order to stimulate the last 1% that's not left yet. Second point is the government is taking money out of the economy, and it doesn't matter if it's in the form of taxes or in debt. And this is the point Milton Friedman made over and over. Sure, you, you, you can lower my taxes, but if you lower my taxes and then simply borrow a lot of money, you're taking the money out of the market from productive investment just by another path. The real key is not about taxation and debt. The real key is about government spending. It's unproductive. They should limit their spending to that which they have to do, the interstate highway system, military, et cetera, and get out of the private sector so that money is available for people, individuals, and corporations to invest it better. TJ, if you ever want to take a pay cut, you could always run for office. TJ Rogers, Cypress Semiconductor. I don't know if he'll do that, though. Thank you, TJ.